Hello, welcome back to my desk. This is my journal for Wednesday, May 16th, 2018. Started at 11.24 a.m. Weather, absolutely balmy. Air conditioner is on. Yes, I was just outside. Needed to convey some packaging materials to their new home in the dumpster. Also put some plastic bags in the trunk of my car to take to the recycle bin at Walmart next time I visit that location. I haven't journaled in a few days. I spent two days with my daughter this week as they were moving. Ended up in Sandpoint for a while, though that is not where they are moving to. She had some business to take care of there, and everything went well. Now they are off to a new adventure in life. Even though I was busy, I managed to spend time each day working a bit on my mixed media junk journal, otherwise known as a mysterious book. I will video it for my Crafting Every Day in May collab, friends, as soon as I'm done writing my journal entry. Well, yesterday I stayed home and rearranged my crafting space. I love to work in an organized space. That room started as my bedroom a few years back, and now I think of it as my art studio that I get to sleep in. The bed is too big for me to move, so I still must sleep there, though for a while I considered giving the bed away and just using the couch for a bed, but I do have enough room for all my crafting, art supplies, and easel. I'm keeping my sewing machine in my office, which makes sense as I plan to sew things I can sell online and at craft fairs and festivals as I'm traveling, which will start after the middle of summer. I'm aiming for September for my first traveling. No hurry. Hello. We are in my craft room at my crafting, painting, art desk. So this is the junk journal that I made last month, and this is what I've been working on lately for crafting every day in May, just practicing and learning mixed media ideas and techniques. Let's start here. The title page, it's been a while since I showed this on video, it says, this is a mysterious book. Created and filled by Linda Jo Martin starting in April 2018 for the joy of mixed media art explorations. God is the creator. We are made in his image, so we create. And that is my philosophy of art, or creativity in general. This is the first page, the mysterious hand. Could be the hand of God, but actually it's my hand, of course. And, okay, this says it's a message from heaven, and on the back it says, Jesus loves you. And this page was really hard for me to do because I was just trying to get used to the media that I'm using. And So these things up here, they're just little pieces of cardboard. Can you see them? Okay, they're little pieces of cardboard that I cut into triangles and pasted on. And that caused just a horrible mess up there, actually. And I ended up painting these with a beautiful shade of paint called Acapulco. I love that color. And then the background I painted gold, metallic gold. And then I got this inspiration to paint over it with this other stuff that I bought recently. This is Delta Pearl Finish. Ceramic Coat Pearl Finish. It is an acrylic paint that just puts a pearlized finish over whatever you already have there. So I put the pearlized finish up here and on this, which was a watercolor piece that I had done a long time ago, and this was a little piece of paper that I had done a long time ago that had some, I think it was either ink or acrylic that I painted that with. Anyhow, it all got pearlized. And then I did the tag, and 
painted this little star and stuck the tag on with the star which had an adhesive backing. This part over here is ink, old ink. Down here I put some more Acapulco with a brown metallic paint over it. So, next page. This is the kind of tea I've been drinking recently, of course. And they make great little pockets for the junk journal. And again, I put, this was a, a watercolor thing that I had done. I pasted it in and put the pearl finish over it. And this is just plain acrylic, uh, the Acapulco paint. So the first pocket is just brown. Um, that's that metallic brown on the one side and nothing on the other side. And the other one has faith, which I thought turned out pretty good considering that I don't know very much um, calligraphy yet. And then this page is, of course, scrapbooking paper, and I put um, just a line of stitching at the top and the bottom. Uh, using my new machine, which worked out pretty good, I thought, and it turned into a pocket in which I've got a book hidden. Uh, 199 Treasures of Wisdom on Talking with God, compiled from the writings of Andrew Murray. I'm really into the writings of Andrew Murray this year. So that is hidden in the pocket of the book. And this next page is my Irish page because I am something like 35% Irish. So I thought I'd make a page for each of my ancestry uh, locations because I did have my DNA done a couple years ago and found out that I'm like Irish and Scandinavian and uh, either Greek or Italian which really surprised me. I wasn't expecting that at all. I was expecting the Irish, the English, Scottish. I guess that's all mixed up in one English and Scottish. Anyhow, I was expecting the Irish, but not the Italian or Greek. So life is full of surprises. And we do have a mystery ancestor. It was my mother's grandfather her grandfather her mother's father is a mystery person that we do not know we believe his name was samuel miller she did not grow up in contact with her father and so we'd really like to know more about his side of the family anyhow he could have been the source of the italian and greek but right now, this is, okay, my main ancestry is Irish, so I put an Irish page, and I pasted on this green craft fabric, and painted a little on it, and put in the seed packet. And then this is a thing that I did actually before I bound the journal. I just had the piece of paper sitting there, and I wanted to see what salt would be like on gouache, since gouache is a kind of watercolor. And it actually didn't have much of a reaction at all. I was kind of disappointed. But then after I did that, I covered it with a coat of Mod Podge. Then more recently, after I bound it into this book, I covered it with a coat of that pearl finish. So that's how it turned out. Pearl finish is just like magic it makes any mistake that I make into something beautiful so the next page is watercolor I let it drip and I have my first crocheted embellishment up here I was thinking of lace curtain Irish and so it's supposed to resemble a lace curtain looking out over the Irish countryside. Now this page is still kind of a work in progress. This is 
watercolor in the background and then this is the pocket it's a pocket so the pocket is made out of a coffee filter that was used and then i watercolored the coffee filter and folded it into the right shape and pasted it there and i'm going to be putting in there some printouts of book covers of irish books that i have read so next time I show you my junk journal, it will probably have that done. I'm thinking I'm going to have to get a color printer though before I do that because my current printer is just black and white and I would really like for the book covers to be in color. So eventually I might start with black and white book covers, but eventually they're going to be in color. And so that's as far as I got in my junk journal. Basically I do just a little bit every day not exactly hurrying through it and I have so many more pages to fill it's just like dozens and dozens of pages so this is likely to take me a year or more to fill I guess I'm not in any hurry and so that's the story of what I've been doing for Crafting every day in May. Um, like I said, I was out of town a couple of days this past week. And I guess one day was Mother's Day and I didn't have any children to celebrate with. So I took myself out to Olive Garden and I got this that I will be putting in the junk journal. And since it was an Italian restaurant, I think I should put that on my Italian page when I get to it. And this is an old bookmark that I have had for years and years. I got it at a bookstore in Antioch when I lived there, which was back in the 1990s. And I thought, somewhere in my junk journal, that's just going to be there. And I was thinking of putting this on my Irish page. It is, uh, it would actually look good right about there. But anyhow. That's just another kind of tea that I like. The matcha maker, if you haven't tried it, tried it. It's so delicious, it's so sweet. This is uh, something that I watercolored with. Well, I didn't watercolor it, it's ink. I ink colored it. And I thought I could cut out the figures and I actually got a X-Acto knife so that I can do it very carefully, but I haven't even used this yet. Obviously, it's still in the package. And then I got this at church on Mother's Day, Precious and Dearly Loved. And I am going to use that in my junk journal somewhere. So that is what I've been doing. Thank you so much for coming by and looking at my video. And if I get any more inspirations for other larger projects, I might move on to them. But in the meantime, I'm just going to do a little bit on this junk journal every day and basically I paint something and then I let it dry and it takes a long time. I haven't been using my little craft drying tool over there very much. And I'm not sure what's the next page. Maybe that should be my Italian page, which is kind of, I don't know, I have a problem with calling it an Italian page because the DNA results said Italian or Greek. So maybe I should put Italian on one side and Greek on the other. So I thought maybe one page for each of my ancestries and maybe one page for each of the places that I've lived, one page for each of the people I like to pray for. And those are all the ideas that I have so far. So thank you for coming by to look at my junk journal progress, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.